you tell me about yourself. I would like to ask you, what is your rank in Anchor Rank? What is your rank in Anchor Rank? Which okay, okay. Plus. Okay. Okay. So tell me, I mean, uh, what do you understand from DSA in Java? So, data structures, algorithms are the main core concept of any uh, language, you can say. Like they hardly English uh, to store any data and uh, to make up the process uh, fast, we use data structures and algorithms uh, like arrays, linked lists, and uh, trees, and more. So, this linked list uh, will store the data like uh, they'll have one sequence. Uh, like, head will be connected by the address of the ne uh, next node. Uh, like that, will have uh, the process and uh, when we'll take the tree structure we'll have one root and uh, further we'll have the child's same like the inheritance concept just uh, in our python Understood. Yeah. i would like to ask you one thing and you just tell me linked list and tree what is the advantage of these two i mean if you want to use tree so for sure there is an advantage with that tree okay and for this also there is an advantage with the linked list so tell me exactly what are what stories, are the yeah. stories you mean they are consuming less space or not yeah then no not exactly for the storage purpose the, the, we don't need the ill and uh, tree linked list and tree okay so there is a purpose purpose for this I mean, uh, linked list uh, will have the data of the ne address of the next node which will come. I mean, true. Whatever you are saying is true. I agree. So what is the benefit? So actually, when we store the whole data in one variable, uh, it takes more space. But uh, when we'll take the linked list in first node itself, we'll have the address of the next node. So there will be a little space. Uh, uh, means memory saving. Still sticking to that point only. Okay. So dynamically growing uh, array is increased. Yeah. So okay. So I'm not going deep into it, but uh, why I am asking these questions is now the interview pattern is like whatever you are mentioning in the resume, okay. they are deeply going into it. So you have to be clear with all okay. those things. Very good. So now I am coming to the MySQL. Tell me, madam, I mean, why we are having different type of joints? I want you to describe all the joints like inner join, self join, outer join, yeah. and tell me why we are having all these different types, types of yeah. joints. So sometimes we need to have the data from both the tables. Mm -hmm. So based on some one condition, we'll use the inner join as in some case, situations we'll have the data. Like uh, in some situations, we need to have the uh, data like a specific employee uh, in which date uh, he is joining. So, so the same data will be in the same table. So in that situation, we'll use self join. The same table is joined again. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, in some situations, we'll, we want only the order details and the math, uh, the customer number. So in some situations, we'll use left jo uh, left join, right join like you that. Know, if we use left join, then you, as you said, inner join can be used there. So, but only the both the matching records will be come. Matching in. records. Okay. So by using outer join, you are not getting them? We'll get, sir. But uh, specifications on the columns will have no. No, not exactly. No. You want everything from one table, and if you want to get match data from other table, you need to use outer joins. Okay. Language clear. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So you don't need to Can you give me an example for shallow copy and deep copy? Explain it with an example. So when we uh, take an uh, uh, array as an okay. example, okay. 10, 20, 30, mm -hmm. 40. When we'll assign b is equals to a, here we are doing the shallow copy. It means that uh, the address of this list, uh, which is it is storing, it is also copied. When we, when we import copy dot copy method, then we'll have like c is equals to a dot copy method when we are using. Here, uh, when we'll change the uh, elements address, uh, it will affect uh, only to c assigning elements, but it won't change in the internal a element because mm -hmm. we didn't copy the address of the elements since. No, so no, no, no. Shallow copy means when you call copy, it will be shallow copy actually. a dot copy is shallow copy. Yeah. So, and by using the single individual elements, you cannot explain the shallow copy and deep copy. It should be with um, uh, nested data structures only. I hope you remember. So, like with nested data structures only, you can clearly describe shallow copy and deep copy. Okay, I will be clear. Very good. I am not saying uh, correct or not. So, do one thing. So, you take one number, 1987. Write a piece of code which should, uh, you know, swap uh, two two elements. I mean, first. 1 9 has to be changed to 9 1, then 8 7 has to be changed to 7 8, then it should be 9 1 7 8. 7, seven eight. 8. Yes. How do you do? So, using uh, that palindrome pattern. You just do you, whatever you want to do, but I want the output, the same output. Oh, no, no. I'm just stopping it. 
కావాలనే అడిగాను మేడం క్రిటికల్ గా కావాలని అడిగాను యూ డోంట్ నీట్ వరీ అబౌట్ ఇట్ కానీ ఇలా ఉంది బ్యాట్ వన్ బయట అని చెప్పడానికి ఇక్కడ వస్తున్నాను ఓకే సో మనం నేను మళ్ళీ వాడి స్పైత దగ్గర నుంచి మొదలు పెడితే మీరు అందరూ ఆన్సర్ చెప్తారు అది యూఆర్ వెరీ గుడ్ స్టూడెంట్స్ బట్ ఐ డోంట్ ఐ వాంట్ షోకేస్ సంథింగ్ డిఫరెంట్ ఓకే మేడం సో దట్ నెక్స్ట్ మన నెక్స్ట్ టైం నేను ఇచ్చేది కానీ యూఆర్ డూయింగ్ గుడ్ నో డౌట్ ఉంది ఓకే థ్యాంక్ యూ కాలింగ్ ఏరియా అండ్ అగైన్ ఇట్ రిజ్యూమ్స్ ద ఎగ్జిక్యూషన్ ప్రాసెస్ సార్ we can use generator when we need to execute the function uh, not at once but uh, for certain input we have to use in different places we have to call the same function this is where all our students are missing you know man. yes sir there are no definitions they yes. are very clear yes sir. but we are missing way to use what yes sir. that is the problem actually yes sir. okay now is now sir I, i think uh, when we call the function generator function all the data will be stored in the ob- in the object ma- manner we use for loop or uh, next keyword whenever we use we want certain part of data till then we use the for loop or next we we took that as real data where we use take a string like you are having a b i o u i o x x e i e i that's it yes. i want you to find group of vowels surrounding with consonant only surrounding with consonant, consonant. yes so this i o i o only i o i understand what you are trying to write right? yes. okay Okay, no worries. So I am trying to first re- uh, read the data structure until it comes to a non-vowel. From there, I am taking the loop from backwards. If it is a vowel, it, the J will be again decreased.